Hello guys, it's me, Ranuka. Hello. <laughs> if that intro sounded oddly familiar, that's because today is finally the day where I'm trying out the <laughs> Nikki Tutorials palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I'm literally so excited to test this out. I've been away from home for two weeks and this palette was actually delivered to my home and I had to wait for two weeks to finally hold it in my hands. <laughs> I haven't even touched any of the shades right here. It was so hard for me but I wanted to film this video and I wanted this to be like a first impressions. I haven't watched any reviews on the palette except for Nikki's, of course. So, this is how the palette looks like on the outside. The packaging is really stunning, really creative. I love it. On the back of the palette, it's a message from Nikki. It says, hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. I am beyond excited for you to finally see this. My palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay and this, it's this whole message here. But I think you all want to see the inside. <laughs> so, this is how the palette opens and inside you will see all these bright shades that I'm living for. <laughs> the palette has two mirrors, one regular mirror and one magnifying mirror. I think that's very useful, although it's kind of, I, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hard to hold the palette like this. I'm really excited to see how all of these shades look on the skin. So first I'm going to swatch the palette and then I'm going to do a look with it because obviously I won't be able to use all the shades in my look, so at least you'll see how they look on the hand, swatched. I will be doing a lot of looks with this palette, so you might as well subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those out. And also you can follow me on my Instagram where again I will be doing a lot of looks with this palette and many other palettes. <laughs> that being said, let's start swatching this beauty. Because I've been holding back so much not to touch it. There are a lot of shades that are screaming my name in this palette. I've been thinking especially about this shade that I know Nikki doesn't really like. The EW shade that for me is not, it's not EW at all. But I'm going to make some space on my arm here so I can start swatching the shades. And I'm going to start with the beginning, of course, with the shade Redemption. This is a really bright orange shade. Keep in mind that I don't have any primer on my hand or anything. So the real test is going to be on the eyes, but I really wanted to see how the shades look. Next, we have this beautiful pink, which is called Blend and Snap. Next we have a really gorgeous shimmer which is called Ivy. Oh my god, this feels so soft, the touch. I feel like it has a pink shift to it. Next shade is a perfect shade for fall in my opinion. It's called Slasher and it's this beautiful, really rich plum shade, I think. Next we have the shade 5AM which is a dark brown shade. Moving on, we have the shade Roxy Catan, which looks like a pink and gold duochrome. Oh my God, this looks so special. It's, it's pink, but it has these golden shifts to it. It's really gorgeous. Next, we have this really bright yellow, which is called La. Next, we have the bright matte red, which is called Mihai. Ooh. No, you didn't. This is so bright and swatched. So beautiful. Ooh. Next, we have the shade Mila, which is kind of a lighter brown. And next we have the shade Underground. Oh, this is almost creamy. <laughs> this really feels like a cream shadow. What? It's so blinding and beautiful. Like, look how reflective it is. But I don't think this will apply well with the brush, to be honest. 
I think you will have to use the finger especially for this shape. So this is half of the palette swatched. I'm going to make some space on my arm to swatch the other half of the palette. Moving on we have the shade Plot Twist which is a baby blue shade. It's so beautiful. It's such a cute shade, like a pastel blue. Next shade is such a beautiful one. This is called Aura. These shimmers feel really creamy. This is the shade Aura. Oh my god, it's so beautiful in person. It's so beautiful. It's orange, it's gold, it's pink at the same time. Next we have Basic tr Truth. Basic Truth. I don't, I, I don't speak Dutch. <laughs> Which is a cream shade. It probably won't show up on my skin. It does show up a little bit. But it's very similar to my skin tone. Next we have the shade All In. Oh my god. You're not ready for this. This is so gorgeous. These duochromes are nothing like I've seen before. I haven't seen shimmers so bright before. Next, we have this beauty called Eel. <laughs> Don't mind me, I love green shadows. This is so bright. They swatch a little bit chunky. I don't know if you can see, like, but the real test is going to be on the eye. But this shade is so gorgeous. Next, we have the shade Pride, which Nikki said that it's her favorite shade of the palette. I definitely can see why. It has kind of blue sparkles to it. Okay, next we have the shade Zomer. 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 It's such a beautiful shade. I love peachy tones like this. I especially love combining these peachy tones with greens. <laughs> so for me, this would be an awesome combo. Next we have the shade Mama Tutorials, which is a very beautiful blue shimmer. Oh, this is so beautiful. Then we have the shade Amsterdam. This is like an, an ink blue. And last, but definitely not least, we have the shade Mr. Tutorials. Which is this beautiful hazel color. The texture of these shimmers is so amazing. The real test is going to be on the eyes, so I'm really excited to create a look. So let's get started. To start with the eye look, I'm first going to prime, because not to prime is a crime, everyone knows that. I don't prime my face. And I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer and applying a little bit of this with my finger. I'm actually going to use the mirror of the palette, why not? I'm not sure what shades I'm going to use. I really want to use the shade Ew, but I feel like Nikki wanted this to be left alone and forgotten because you don't really have uh, other colors to pair this with. <laughs> but I'm going to see what I can do. So I'm going to take the shade EW on a Morphe M506 brush and apply this um, I'll dust off the excess a little bit because I'm afraid of that fallout Ooh, ooh, the pigment, the pigment, are you serious? Okay, and I'll drag this all over my crease. Actually, I'm going to drag it like halfway because I'm gonna leave space for another shade in the inner portion. But dude, this pigment. So I'll do like a winged shape with this shade. I don't know why, I, I didn't expect this. Like, I knew it had to be good, but this is some next level pigment. To blend this in the crease, I'm going to take the shade Vla, this bright yellow. See, like, they have a little bit of fallout in the pan. I'm dusting off the excess again. 
Hmm. This is a little bit tricky to blend though. I'll take the previous brush with no additional product on it and attempt to blend this. Okay, I feel like this kind of works. On the inner portion of my crease I'm going to apply the shade Redemption. This bright orange. I'm using a Morphe 507 brush. In the inner portion of my eyelid, I'm going to apply the shade All In. I'm not ready for this. Mm. No, you didn't. I won't even attempt to apply these shimmers with the brush. I feel like that would be kind of a disaster. Because they feel very, very creamy and I don't think a brush will pick them up as good. I definitely feel like these shimmers are almost cream shadows. In the center of my eyelid, I want to apply the shade Mr. Tutorials to blend into this green. I'm gonna tell you, my arm hurts for holding this palette to use the mirror. It's my left hand though, it's not as strong as my right arm. I'll take the brush that I used to apply the green and really blend these edges. I'm going to take the shade 5AM on a Morphe M149 brush because I really want to deepen my outer corner. So I'll apply this kind of a, like a wing liner, like a blended wing liner let's say because my eye really needs some definition right now. So I'll try to fade this into the green. I'm taking the brush that I used to apply EW and try to further fade this shade. I really want to do something very unusual on the lower lash line. So I'll take the shade Pride on my pinky because again, I don't want to use a brush with this shade. I feel like it won't really work. And I'll apply this mainly in the inner portion of my lower lash line, but also fading it towards the outer corner. And now I'm going to take 5 a.m. again and apply this on my outer corner of the lower lash line. These shades definitely do have some fallout. I do have some shimmer on my face. I think from now on I'm going to do my eyes first and I'll fade this underneath of the pride shade. Next I'm going to take the shade Summer to blend this 5am shade. To highlight my inner corner I'm going to take the shade Ivy on a small detail brush. Mm, this is so bright. I'm applying a little bit on my brow bone as well. I'm going to finish this look of camera by applying some false lashes and also I'll do my lips and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, lashes make everything better. Um, I feel like this look is more tight together with the lashes. But now let's talk a little bit about this palette. I personally really enjoyed working with this. One thing that I would change in the future is I would do my eyes first because the shimmers in particular, they have a little bit of uh, fallout. I didn't have any problem with the mattes though, which is quite unusual for me. Like I'm used to mattes having fallout and shimmers not having fallout. But this palette is kind of the, the opposite. The shimmers to me feel like cream shadows. Like literally, if I press a little bit harder, I'm sure I would make like a gap in these uh, shimmers. But I haven't seen such bright shimmers in any other palette. These for me are like at the top from what I've tried. The mattes also, they are so pigmented and gorgeous. And again, the, on the shimmers you kind of need to use the finger as they are so creamy and kind of have that little bit of fallout. 
I don't think they will work that well with the brush. I'm going to try it though in the future, although I don't have high hopes for that. Overall, I really enjoy this palette and I'm really, really looking forward to creating more looks with it. I feel like it's so special and every shade in here is so gorgeous. I don't think there's any shade that I'll, I don't know, I'll skip using. They are all useful and well thought. I'm so excited to try the other shades. But for me, it was such a pleasure to use and I'll definitely reach for this all over again. I feel like for me it was really worth the money and I'm really happy with my purchase and at the same time I feel so proud for Nikki for doing this palette. It's so gorgeous and I'm really happy that she had the courage to do a collaboration again because this time it came out outstanding and congratulations Nikki for the palette. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. It helps my channel a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more looks. I upload every Monday and Friday. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!